and yes, we headed towards the coast to beat the heat. Uh, currently, we are looking at clear skies and that's going to allow for rapid warming. We're already waking up warmer uh, for interior parts of the county. We're about two degrees warmer inland and in the mountain areas and about four degrees warmer right now than Carl's in Carlsbad than 24 hours ago. Most of us west of the mountains are waking up in the 60s, but we're already warm east of the mountains. We're in the 90s, so the bad news when it comes to uh, the successive heat, especially for the desert communities, is there's no relief when it comes to those overnights, especially for the desert areas, and that uh, heat just compounds, and it has been for the past several days, and that's why it's dangerous and potentially lethal in some cases. All right, so here's that ridge of high pressure. It is continuing to just sit nice, tight, tight comfortably, just west of the four corners, bringing excessive heat to several uh, states, including Arizona, Nevada, as well as California. Here in Southern California, specifically in San Diego County, everyone except for the coastal areas is under either a heat advisory or an excessive heat warning, and will be under those all the way through tomorrow night. The inland areas will soar in the low hundreds again today. Meanwhile, the desert areas will be anywhere from 110 close to 120. So because we don't have a lot of clouds in the mix this morning, no, none of that marine layer uh, deepening to the inland valleys, it's going to warm up rapidly. We'll be in the low 80s by the 9 o'clock hour for a lot of our inland communities before soaring into the 90s uh, later on this afternoon. Escondido will be one of those cooler spots with places like El Cajon and Santee will hover near 100. The downtown areas, we're starting off in the upper 60s, but by 11 a.m., for example, will already be close to 80 degrees. Daytime highs will peak in the low 80s, upper 70s along the coastal communities. For the next seven days, we will have subtle minor cooling for the second half of the week, but we'll also have the return of monsoonal moisture. So despite those daytime highs dropping a bit, it's going to feel sticky, a little uncomfortable outside because of those higher humidity levels. For the mountain areas, we'll also have that chance for thunderstorms returning Wednesday all the way through Friday. Desert highs will be near 115 today will be the warmest day of the next seven days and then we are going to see those daytime highs drop a few degrees but it's still going to be really warm close to 110 beginning Wednesday all the way through the weekend.